Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray here coming at you all with the word of the Lord for today. And so today the Lord is saying, look again, look again. And so I'm sure that you guys see in the title, he had me put the number 555. And so typically when we see five, we hear people speak of Isaiah 55 and five. Um, We also hear them speak of the grace and the favor of God. All of those things are true, especially they're highly pertinent for what the Lord is doing in the earth right now. But I want to introduce you to something different, um, something that the Lord is speaking right now through this number. Okay, and so um, the fifth Hebrew letter, hey, okay, and so the old pictograph was like a person going like this, like, oh my gosh, right? That's what it looked like. And so essentially what it means is to behold. What it means is to take a look at. What it means is to inspect something so closely. And another meaning of this, and that I've actually encountered multiple times before, is that it deals with the spirit of revelation. It deals with the Lord causing you to go on a journey of discovery, where you begin to see that which was already there, but you see it in a new way. It is the breath of God, essentially. When you read scripture, you may have read the same scripture a million times. But when you go to open the word, there's this breath. There's this revelation that suddenly comes forth and you're seeing things differently. You see, the thing about revelation is that it it sheds light. But not only does it shed light to cause you to see, but it also sheds light in a different way. Because when you think of the light of God flooding your heart, it increases your understanding and it gives you greater perception, especially of things that are going on in the spirit. And so the Lord said that he is opening eyes on this day. Um. So it's not just about manifestation, you seeing something happen really quickly, right? Because that's what he was speaking of in an instance. But what the Lord brought back to my attention um, was my move to L.A. So um, when I was in Milwaukee and I was looking for apartments, I was in my college apartment for about six years at this point. And so I had my lease was about to uh, be up in August and I was looking for new places because I knew the, the Lord was telling me not to stay there anymore. But what happened was whenever I looked for other places, I was unsatisfied. I was like, and I remember it straight up like this. What is it about the most simple things that you say to God that causes him to answer in the most profound ways? That's why I love the Lord. There's no recipe with him. But anywho, I was like. God, if you're trying to tell me something, like trying to tell me to move somewhere, you're going to have to show me where. And so literally the next morning I woke up and before I opened my eyes, he showed me the Hollywood sign, but it said Houston. So at the time I was like, why would he show me the Hollywood sign not put two and two together? So at first he revealed to me Houston and that was where I went. But when the time came for him to call me to L.A., he took me back to that same vision. So it was already there. The vision was already there. It was always meant for me to come to L.A., but I didn't have eyes to see. I just feel the Holy Ghost so strongly. Hallelujah. And so the Lord is saying he is going to cause you to see that which you were not able to see before. Hallelujah. He's going to cause you even to see him in a new way. There was a scripture I was reading. It says Isaiah 40 and 10. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And the the, the Lord is saying with this great release of blessings that he's pouring out on his children, that the angel came forth to break the, the delay and cause release within that three day period. Right. That's what he mentioned in the video earlier is that you will see his glory. Hallelujah. You will see his glory. You will see his glory. Not that you will feel, you will see his glory. Hallelujah. And so my point today was to tell someone about the Hebrew letter, hey, which is the fifth Hebrew letter that deals with revelation, that deals with the Lord causing you to see those things that were once veiled. Um. 
And this is so important because sometimes the answer is right in front of you, but you haven't had eyes to see it. But the Lord is causing that which was hidden to be made known. And so um, I want to see if there was anything else. Yeah, again, he was just speaking of a time of revealing, of revealing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we know that it is the glory of God to conceal the matter, but it is the honor. It is the duty of kings to seek it out. That's Proverbs 25 and 2, one of my most favorite scriptures. And so this is a time where the Lord is removing not just a veil, but even the spiritual cataracts, like causing you to be able to see in the spirit and see what the Lord is doing in a new way. And so uh, I don't want to be on here too long. Amen. That's the word of the Lord for today is he's saying, look again and uh, you shall surely see the glory of the Lord. Amen. I love you all so much. Please make sure that you join us tonight, Tuesday, February 20th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube Live for our encounter nights. On Tuesdays, we abstain from eating food. We drink tea and water so that we can maximize the efficacy of the flow of the Holy Spirit so that we can receive more of him. Hallelujah. How many of you want more of his glory, more of his presence? And so... um, it's a, it's a fun time. If you've never joined an encounter night, you can go look at the previous ones. There's a whole playlist. But I really pray that you're in the room because you never know what the Lord is going to say. But also, we don't know what realm, what dimension of glory he will have us in. Amen. We were in the healing realm last week. Who knows? We may be in the suddenly realm. <laughs> Well, the glory of God is a suddenly, but you guys get what I'm saying. I just really want you all to be in a room. So may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May you have a wonderful sleep. I'm sure some of you are up and going back to sleep or going to work, whatever the case may be. Um, and also don't forget to tune into Sunray Worships every morning at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. What do we do? We do not worry, family. We worship. And so there's an entire channel dedicated to worship now. For those of you who've been looking for worship and have not been finding it hallelujah and so i'm not gonna lie the holy spirit is not letting me leave there is a healing anointing right now in the room there is a healing anointing right now in the room hallelujah father heal our souls father heal our souls Father, heal our souls right now, right now. Release your healing power. Release your healing power right now. Hallelujah. In the order and the Arabasi. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. God, we thank you for the healing anointing that is being released right now over this video. Father, for the souls that will encounter this, that need healing, that need to have their minds healed, that need to have their hearts healed, O Lord, so that they can behold your glory, so that they can behold that which you have for them. Father, I pray that in your great mercy, O Lord, that you just begin pouring out the oil of myrrh and healing all bitterness, healing all pain, healing all frustration that they've gone through, Lord. And as your healing ray of light goes forth, O God, Father, your word says that there is great power. There There are rays of light emanating from your hand, and in that hand there is great power. So, Father, as your rays of light are going forward right now and bringing forth healing to the mind, healing to the soul, Father, I pray that it ushers them into closer intimacy with you and that this healing opens up their eyes and allows them to see that which they were not able to see before. Father, I pray that their new sight helps them to advance forward confidently knowing that yes, indeed, you are with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
Jesus. Orandi Arabasi. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. In the Orandi Arabasi. Heal our eyes. Heal our sight. Help us see you. Help us behold you. Help us see, Lord. Help us behold your glory. Hallelujah. Help us behold, behold your glory. Help us see, hallelujah, Jesus, help us see, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Mm, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so I pray that this has blessed you. Um, And that you allow the Lord to open up your eyes to see in a new way in this hour. I love you all so much. And I'll talk to you later.